Today, you will battle it out on skin in a flash tattoo face-off. Flash tattoos are pre-made art hung on the walls of tattoo shops. It's flash. It's made to be quick. That's why it's called flash. It's done in a flash. You will be divided into two rounds of six and have 90 minutes to tattoo a flash design drawn by Oliver and Chris. We've all cut our teeth on flash. This is where you learn to tattoo. Damn, look at you, Steve, just moving right along. If you can't even nail a basic flash tattoo, you shouldn't be here. Go ahead and win this damn thing. My strategy for this lotus flower is to color the out of it. How the can you color if you do it all the time? 30 minutes in. How'd you learn how to do water, Kay? I haven't, actually. I don't feel like I have enough time to do the water the way it's supposed to be done. I think I'm just gonna wind up just scratching some in there. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machines down, no more ink. All right, guys, skull and top hat. You have 90 minutes, and your time begins now. It's toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You're doing the exact same thing right next to each other. That's a real competition. A majority of the shops that I've worked at are street shops. People come in, pick flash, and you slap it on them. So I'm pretty much in my element today. It's like asking a monkey to climb a tree. I'm gonna bring the magic in. Every opportunity I've ever had in my career to do color, I do it. I have a lot more fun with it. If there's any time that I need to win a flash challenge, it's now. Color is my thing. I love color. Everybody here is going to be able to do a kick-ass job. My job is just to do it a little bit better. 15 minutes left. Remember what they said, how your colors blend. If you make that top hat solid black, Nick. He's a magician. It's got to look black, punk. I'm just doing it my way. Nick thinks he knows everything. And he's just a young, stupid idiot. Five, four, three. Two, one, that's it, time's up, no more ink. Tattoo baby. I like it, I like the way, you know, you blended the green on the lily. It really makes the flower stand out well. Steve. You put dark blue instead of soft, light blue, splashy water. I just figured color challenge, throw some color in. Kills it, how dark that blue is. Jamie. The whole tattoo is light, but as far as the color saturation goes, I don't feel like the blend is as smooth as it could be. Clint. The water does kind of look like it clumps up in areas. The water is dark. I think it kind of helps. The you know what happens orange. when you do the water like that? There's zero depth. Yeah, it's just the rush, man. K Cutter. I like what you did with the water. I feel like the blue could have been blended a little smoother. Turn into a rust job at the end. At least you didn't overpower that, putting too much dark underneath it. He colored his waves more correct than mine. Oh, so now it's about how well you color Waves? I thought it was about how well you just color in general. Trey. You took a different approach at coloring the flower. You know how to put black shading into a tattoo to make color pop, and that comes through on this. Definitely a much better tattoo out of you. Thank you. All of a sudden, you do a good tattoo, and you're awesome. I mean, you should be doing good tattoos right off the rip. That's ludicrous. Nick. Although I've never seen a green skull, you made it work. The one critique I have is I just, I don't like the dice. Kind of like a geometric boxy look. You try to get fancy and make those dice see through, which throws it off. Sebastian? If you're gonna go with that strong of a yellow highlight on the top of the hat, should have had a lot stronger highlight on those dice. We want to be able to see more color than more black. Mark? I know it's a color challenge, but I don't think you need it to go wall to wall. You actually packed so much purple into one little area. A little skin break on it would have made it pop so that the hat didn't look so done and the skull looked so undone. Lalo? I'm not too high on just so many different colors. The background green leaves a hard edge instead of letting it be soft. I always look for my backgrounds to have a geometric shape so it's solid. But it makes too harsh of a square shape around it. Sarah. The color that's in there is solid. The dice are really smooth. The transition's nice. The banner's really clean. I love the black in the hat. I love that you didn't do a bunch of color in there. Jesse. The only complaint I have is that you use the same color in the face you did in a banner. You miss the mark because they're so similar in such a small area. The judges have decided that the winner of the first round is Trey. <laughs> the judges have decided that the winner of round two is Sarah.
Trey and Sarah, the two of you will face off in the final round. You will be tattooing a gypsy girl. This gypsy head is a very commonly done tattoo, and because these guys had such hiccups doing an American traditional eagle and flag, we figured we'd throw them a little more traditional. You're going down. That'll be fun. I'm winning this. You better be able to back that shit up. You're writing a pretty large check there. You don't want that mother bounce. We are upping the pressure. You will now only have 60 minutes to complete your tattoo. Let's get ready to face off. This is a real competition. Best against the best. Once I pick up that tattoo machine, the competition's getting shut down. Oliver's gonna love that This is a traditional gypsy head, something I'm really good at. I've been doing this 20 years. She wasn't even around when this stuff came out. 30 minutes remain. Is that the only flesh tone you're gonna use? I don't know, depends on the time. You got 25, so I think you got the time. Why the f are Jesse and Mark helping Trey and no one's helping me? What the f What do you think, Mark? It might be more of an issue of who's gonna finish. It's very comforting. You're on top of the world one minute, putting your finger in a guy's face. Looks like the karmic scales are biting Sarah in her ass. 15 minutes left. Get it, Sarah, come on. I'm working on it. I feel completely out of my element, off my game. What the f Come on, get it together. Really frustrating. That's a rat. Look at this guy. Whoa. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Time's up. No more ink. I don't even know what to think right now. I did the best that I could in the time that I was given. I'm really hating myself right now. Sarah. The color is all pretty light. It's not enough contrast. His I ran out of time. skin, look at his color and look at the face. The guy's one Santana away from not having any shading in the face. Trey. I'm not a huge fan of the pink. It felt traditional, so I went traditional. With the black stars, I think it made it look a little better. This color stands out. When it heals, it's gonna look real nice. The judges have come to a decision. And the winner is Trey. <laughs> Not only did I beat Sarah, I beat her at something she thinks she's the best at, and that feels unbelievable. For this flash challenge, you are designing for a very picky canvas. Me. What? I've never tattooed anybody as famous as Dave Navarro. I think it would be just so cool, but what if I got nervous and up? You will have two hours to design two American traditional tattoos, one good luck, and one bad luck. I will choose one good luck tattoo and one bad luck tattoo. The artist designs I choose will have 90 minutes to tattoo me at the same time. Wow. wow. I gotta live with this for the rest of my life. Don't it up. All right, guys, you have two hours to design and your time starts now. I really haven't made a good impression on the judges thus far. But I'll tell you what, if I could do a tattoo on Dave Navarro, that's a good way to leave my mark. Out of 18 tattoos, I should find two that I like, right? I would hope that there would be a couple of good ones. I'm gonna be a traditional master after this flashy. <laughs> Jimmy's gonna be my biggest competition in this. He is the fastest, most creative artist in this house. If everyone else is only designing one or two designs, two, four, six, eight. If I give him 20 to choose from, odds are he's going to pick one of mine. I was going to draw on each oh, one I'm of sorry. Those. You can go make a copy. I didn't know. I thought that was just. Jesus Christ. I'm just so tired of the talking. Everybody thinks that I can't draw because I focus my art more on realism, but I'm hugely underestimated in this competition. Five, four, three, two, one, that is it, time's up. Pencils down, no more sketching. Yes, tell us what you designed here. Good luck, bad luck. This one's like a clean, crystal clear diamond. This diamond here is like a flawed, messed up diamond. The dimension in these are good. I think the money one might miss on Dave because it's a little more street as to where Dave's a little darker, a little more metal. Craig. I went for a lucky rabbit's foot, and my second one is a rabbit missing foot. I'm just really impressed with the creative take on an old adage. 
People don't think that it's not so lucky for the rabbit. Thank you. Jimmy, I actually rattled off 20 rough sketches. Wow, 20 rough sketches. Misfortune and misunderstood. It's kind of like both are bad, but in a good way. Bottom of the barrel, traditional, lucky, unlucky. You know, it's impressive to see somebody that can sit down and bang out a bunch of designs. All in all, you're showing. Thank you. Jimmy being so cocky is definitely a result of the entire group stroking his ego. And I can't wait to see him leave. Joshua. I tried to put like the numbers as triple seven with the spades and then the 13 for the bad luck one. The sevens to me are a little bit off. They're just a strange looking seven. Joshua hasn't drawn anything yet. And the things that he's supposed to have drawn look like Kyle. A good look, Bride of Frankenstein, kind of witchy woman. And then a uh, bad luck, broken mirror, murdered skull. It's hard to read just seeing the outline because it's got a lot of stuff in there. Joey. I like the fact that the seven is the obvious good luck choice, but it also still is more dark and creepy. With the skull being inside the seven there, you could still shade it and give it the dimension. What's up, Jason? I noticed you wear a planchet for yes. a Ouija board, and yes, I thought I that's a really cool idea for something like a bad luck. So I put the all C and I in there, and then I did a little Asian theme thing for good luck. Sincerely, I do like the planchette design. You paid attention to some things that I'm interested in. Jackie. These are good luck ones. The broken wishbone. Like, and then like the 13, I didn't necessarily finish shading, but it has the upside down cross. I like the seven and the rabbit's foot. Once again, it's a design that could easily put dimension into it with the shading in the foot. Cool. Tattoo baby. This is the tattoo baby Elvira. Oh, Hannah. look at that. Oh, she's cute. And then this one, which is a coffin with bat wings and legs. I like the idea of the coffin and the legs, and it's also one you could shade and show dimension. I like a lot of them. Let's do them all. OK. After reviewing your designs, I've decided that the two artists that will be tattooing me will be. Tattoo Baby with her coffin design, and Jason with his planchette design. I'm tattooing Dave freaking Navarro. Congratulations, guys. This is cool, but if I screw this up right now, I'm getting sent double time out of here. You will both have 90 minutes to tattoo me at the same time. The judges will then determine a winner. Good luck and get your machines. It's going to be a long hour and a half, Dave. Don't mess up. I thought we were going to be in a private location. Yeah, those lines will straighten up over time. I swear to God, I'll knock your teeth out. They look great. It looks great. Now I got all the artists circling me like sharks, just waiting for me to up. I'm trying to smooth these out. My plan is to take this simple planchette, add a little bit of a dip in the shading, and add a little shading to this eyeball to make it look three-dimensional. 30 minutes left, you two. Sick line work. Oh, don't move. There's a lot of pressure. Everybody's going to ask the Navarro, hey, let me see the tattoo that Tattoo Baby did. So I better do a damn good job. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Jason is really struggling with his background. It's going to hurt him in this challenge. Tattoo Baby's coffin is a little bit misshapen. I might even be able to win this challenge. Very limited color palette, but you were still able to show dimension with the little bevel that you put on the edge of the wood carving. Tattoo Baby, you had a little bit more to your design than Jason's. You had some areas where you showed some nice dimension and depth in the coffin. Overall, I think Dave's pretty happy. Let's see what he has to say. The winner of today's Flash Challenge is Jason. Jason noticed that I wear a little planchette around my neck, and he made a design that instantly appealed to me. It's a pretty badass looking piece. Welcome. We started with 18, and now it's down to just 10 artists. This week, we're testing adaptability. As a tattoo artist, anything can come at you, and you have to be able to just adapt to the situation and make the best of it. Like you, your canvases today also don't let an opportunity pass them by. They're here to knock something else off their must-do list. They all want to get their very first tattoo. What? I 
hate tattooing first timers because they're usually the pickiest sons of bitches ever. You must be adaptable to work with their ideas and make their first tattoo a memorable life experience. Usually people's first tattoo is something that's extremely meaningful for them. To take that leap into the tattoo world, the stakes are so high. You have three hours to help your canvas live life to the fullest by giving them their very first tattoo. And your time starts now. All right, let's do this. Let's live my life. This is your first tattoo, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? Or Extremely. <laughs> it's OK, I'll talk you through it. Adaptability is important in tattooing for the simple fact that the only way that tattooers make money is adapting to their clients. I want to do a pocket watch. It has to say the time, 902. That's like the only part that I'm like really adamant about. No, that's fine. Okay. That's totally fine. What reason are you getting? Uh... My dad was a watchmaker. My son's birth time was 902. And that's like when time really became important. I'm definitely going to do justice to it for you. Today we're looking for these artists to take the canvas's ideas, sketch them down just like they would in a regular tattoo shop setting, and make them happy. First time tattoo? So what do you want to do? Oh, my cousin passed away. Right before she passed away, she got a sugar skull tattoo. Where's all this going? On my ribs. I'm just concerned with it being your first tattoo. It's like a set in stone type of thing. Three hours to design and tattoo rib piece. On a virgin canvas, that's a memorial. If that doesn't show adaptability, I don't know what does. I don't even have time to talk. My anxiety level is on level 20 right now. I don't want to you over. I can't even think straight because I'm coming off a rooftop. I'm already panicked the hell out. If the judges do not see how much I've had to adapt, they're out of their mind. Two more hours to tattoo. Ooh, I think that's pretty good, dude. There's a lot online. I got two beautiful boys. Me being here away from them is probably the hardest part. I feel like I'm pretty adaptable. If anybody wants to win this competition, they gotta come through me first. You're gonna win this one, though, man. Well, I hope so. Rose tattoos are so iconic and so typical. I wanna do something a little bit different. It's an inverted rose. I really need to do what I do best, and that's good tattoos. Chemistry makes a good tattoo. So, I mean, we already won. <laughs> Aaron's too busy flirting with his canvas to put a decent tattoo on her arm. He's doing a blue whirlpool. It looks like smattered One hour remaining. OK, you ready? We're going to start doing some shading now. There's a lot at stake with this tattoo because I have to represent this woman's feelings, emotions, and her story. So there's a lot riding on it. That looks beautiful. I know that I could bring her idea to life. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more tattooing. All right, you want to see it? Yes. Tell me what you think. Wow, looks like 3D. Let's check it out. It looks awesome. Julie and I both got a Spartan tattoo. My Spartan's gonna whoop her Spartan's ass. You did a great job. Right, Happy here we first go. tattoo. There we go. <laughs> Julia, you're up first. Well, I think it definitely comes off as a positive design. It does have bright colors and it does have a lot of contrast. It's very clean, very nicely tattooed. Don, what did you want today for your first tattoo? To be an inspiration to myself, to always live like a Spartan, and hopefully to inspire my kids to do the same. The size of this tattoo is a nice size for his arm, and what it means to you and your family is going to make you love this tattoo even more. Emily. She wanted her first tattoo on her ribs. It was important to her, so I was willing to adapt. The shape of the tattoo fits the body nicely, and the soft, smooth, gray little hearts that you did around it look like a nice, soft accent. I think you hit it. Mark, why did you choose that placement? I was all her. I had to adapt to what she wanted. I think that the way it sits now is perfect with the design of my actual body. I really like the design. I think it has a lot of good flow, looks feminine, and just a little bit of dot pattern in there really makes it stand out. Josh, did you ask Josh for these particular elements? I gave him the microphone, and he just brought it to life. I had to sit there and draw right in front of him without looking at a bunch of images and do a different style that I'm not really used to. Good job doing what tattoo artists are supposed to be able to do, is to interpret people's ideas and draw it up on the spot. Jason, 
So did you want Biomech included with this design? Definitely. That must have been a challenge. Yeah, I had to adapt really quick. You did show a lot of lighter shades of gray in your foreground and then your heavier deep set blacks. Good job. Jason's tattoo is boring, it's not dynamic, it's not incredibly readable, it's ridiculous. Eric, what elements did you tell Eric that you needed? I wanted a pocket watch to represent my father and the time, 902, the time my son was born. It's a beautiful tattoo, it's very feminine, but it still has the meaning from her family that she wanted in there. A lot of detail, a lot of bright colors. The tattoo fits the body well, and overall it's a dynamic tattoo, it looks good. Chris. I think the detail in this tattoo is very nice. Very close up, you see the stitching in the fabric and the wrinkles. There's a nice contrast. With it just being black and gray, you really have to be careful to let the blue and the red and the white all kind of have a different tone. And I feel like you captured that. Aaron. I think it's a very unique tattoo. I feel like it's definitely something different than what anybody expected. I look at Aaron's tattoo and I can't even tell what the hell it is. He definitely ruined this girl's arm for good. Clean. I always wanted something tribal. And one of the biggest things was getting my kids somehow incorporated. The details are really nice and clean. The black is really solid. Really love the way it fits the arm. It's a cool tattoo, man. Clean's tattoo, it's not accurate. It's not traditional Polynesian tribal. My rose whoops the out of Clean's wrong Polynesian tribal. The winner of today's flash challenge is... Giving this girl a nice, feminine, beautiful tattoo that she's gonna be happy with, job well done. There's nothing super flashy about Eric's tattoo. All it is is a real cheesy clock with some flowers. I definitely should've won. Welcome to the U.S. Customs House. 11 of you remain. This week, we're testing composition. Composition in art's very important. It's being able to arrange elements where it makes sense and keeps the viewer's eye moving the whole time. New York is one of the most visited cities in the entire world, and this building has served as its gateway, welcoming travelers from near and far for over 200 years. Today, you must tattoo a postcard. Wow. I know what a postcard looks like, but I'm having a hard time imagining how to translate that into a tattoo. For many years, before cameras were common, postcards were the only keepsakes people had of their adventures. Your canvases want their postcards personalized. It is a rectangular design, which might be really hard to make work for a composition challenge. You've each been randomly assigned a human canvas and will have four hours to tattoo. Head back to the shop and meet your canvases. Tyler. Emily, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Matt. Postcard style artists are going to test their artistic skills more than their tattoo skills. Where are we doing your postcard at? To really come up with a great composition and something that fits the story that these canvases want. Hawaii, that's something that sticks with you. New York City. Okay. It's my favorite. Florida, Tampa. Tampa, good. I'm from Florida, so that works out easy. So if you want to do like some water, uh, palms? Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna give them palm trees, beach, ocean, a sunset. Everything's lining right up for me. All right, my friend, you ready to roll? Yep. Make the tap. You really want them coming in from behind, from the top. I don't think that water line's perfect right there. Chris thinks he's better than everyone in this competition. He already sees himself as number one. This is my chance to turn the tables. Okay, are you dead set on the ribs? I was thinking like higher up on the ribs. My canvas wants a word Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls themselves, and the Rainbow Bridge and our postcard on the ribs. Because it's on the rib cage, everything I do, especially when it comes to liner, I have to take at half the speed. I am not going to tattoo this girl's ribs. Did you have any plans for the front of your thighs? I'm not a, totally like opposed to okay, it. Cool, awesome. I need to be able to work on an area of the body where I can concentrate on the composition instead of worrying about trying to tattoo a tough location. Okay, here we go. Three hours remaining, guys. Three more hours. Last time I was here, I went home at this point. If you can't do black and gray, you can't be Ink Master. It's your Achilles heel. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I played the game the last time with a lot of integrity, but didn't last too long. Today, I'm all about strategy. I really need this skull pick, so I need to knock this one out of the park. Okay, we'll Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down, time is up. No more ink. 
was a close one. For a while, I didn't think I was going to finish it. Really? <laughs> Are you serious? If they were sending someone home for one of these postcards, Big C's better go pack it. Artists, it is now time to critique your work. Big C's, come on up. Why did you choose Seattle as the postcard that you wanted? That was the first time that I left New York City and went to the West Coast. That trip changed my life. I feel like the Space Needle just kind of comes out of the blue at the bottom of the bridge. The left side looks finished, and then when you get to the middle, to the structure and the flowers, it just has an unfinished feel. Eric. This is New York? Brooklyn, Brooklyn, actually. Two years ago, I was sitting in a restaurant overlooking the Brooklyn Bridge, and at that point, I was really inspired to start my own company. I love the composition. It definitely tells this guy's personal story. It doesn't hit a postcard challenge for me, but at the same time, the craftsmanship in the tattoo is very strong. The line work is very nice. Overall, you got a nice tattoo. Thank you. Marissa. I would not look at this image and ever think New Orleans, but definitely some of the best outlines we've seen from you so far. It's good to see that you can do these crisp, sharp lines. Cruzman. I love this tattoo, man. It definitely has the postcard vibe. The composition in this tattoo, where you have the silhouette coming into the foreground and then the dynamic lettering going from thick to thin creates a nice flow. This is another great job. Duffy. There's some very clean elements to this tattoo, especially the greetings from, but you definitely lost it in the word Colorado. Doing negative letters is very tricky. It's not tight and clean. Katie. You got a very simple composition. The color blends are super smooth. The orange, the yellow in the sky, the blue, the light blue in the water. The highlight is definitely the postage mark. That really lends itself nicely to this being a postcard. Compositionally, this thing is super nice. The hula girl in the foreground, the ocean in the background. Simple idea, but the way it's laid out just brings it home. Dave. I love the composition of the lettering, cutting the postcard kind of in half, and you have the bridge on one side and the falls on the other. It's undeniable what it is that we're looking at, and as far as hitting the postcard feel, you do. Tyler. I think you did a great job here. Without the word Arizona, you still get a very descriptive postcard feel. The composition's very nice. The cactus in the foreground with the iconic images sliding back, it's very easy to read. Solid job. Chris. This is a classic postcard look. The word swooping through nicely. The simple composition, I think, stands out very strong. This is what defines being able to see a bit of everything. You really knock it out of the park with this scene. Thank you. I know my tattoo looks bright. I got this one in the bag. Craig. You could have left a little bit more gap between some of the letters, especially in the word city. I have to tell you, man, I got a problem with the apple. That looks like a big cherry or a plum. The New York City apple symbol is a very distinct apple shape. What is this tattoo? You have bubble letters and a weird-shaped apple. This is a New York City postcard? Are you kidding me? The judges have decided. The winner of today's Flash Challenge is Matt. Thank you, guys. It's bull my tattoo is better than Matt's. My tattoos are on fire right now. I'm on top of this game. This week, we're testing composition. Composition is a bunch of elements that's put together to form one cool piece. Today, you must give your canvases a permanent reminder of whatever it is that they do to live their best life. Each canvas has a different way of making these moments better, and it's up to you to translate that to the skin. It's a little hard to translate someone's feelings into a picture, but if you're a really good illustrator, you can illustrate anything. Okay, guys, you have four hours, and your time begins now. You know, this is what you like to do. So I surf, and fishing is obviously the biggest one. I grew up on a lake. He loves fishing, I love fishing. These are both our happy places. I can totally relate to this guy. All right, here we go. After the terrible critique that we got in the Cherub Challenge. These are the worst tattoos y'all have done since y'all got here. You two work the best together and seemingly the worst apart. I'm definitely a lot more determined to get the win on this one. Being called out from new school all season long. All of our canvases have been fans of cartoony things. Luckily for us, guess what he wants? New school. I'm not gonna deny this guy some new school tattoos. If you crush it, you can't really say much, right? Three hours to go. Three hours remaining, guys. So this whole thing is black? Yep. 
DJ's taking the lead on this. This design's really simple, but I feel like this one's a little too simple. Dull down the colors a bit. And I keep trying to add other things. Should I do like a little thing around these bottom of the eyes? Mm, I don't like that. It's a little frustrating. I'm still gonna use the dark gray on these keys because the background's gonna be black. We need to win this flash challenge. So you me the image with the line work in it? Let's put it over here. D-Tat is not going to be tattooing at all because he was shaking off of the last challenge. Just so he could sit back, recollect himself, and just watch and see what these judges are really critiquing us on. Can you pump my chair up a little bit for me, bro? Higher. Less I gotta bend over the better. One hour remaining. How you doing, fam? Perfect. Our route is graffiti. Anytime you go to that wall, you got at least a couple of dozen people painting sometimes, and it's a competition every time, no matter what. Everybody's swinging pretty strong, so make sure everything is on point. This is just another battle, basically. So we're, we're gonna fight this. 15 minutes, what are you gonna do? You don't have time to get on the face, and the face and the skin looks great. Don't tell me that. Push. You got, well, then you can tell me every, whatever you want. This looks unfinished. I told you we should do something more simple. It's already bad enough that there's a lot of pressure here. And if I can't incorporate what I'm trying to add to it, then You're going to kill the contrast. OK. Well, then I guess we're done, right? Don't you want to put color here and on the, on the jewelry? You might as well just finish it, because what I see and what you see are two different things. No, I see what you say, but then we need like an hour more. Well, just knock it out. Not like losing, not a loser. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. Very oh, nice. Very cool. This is real dope. D Tat didn't even tattoo. You might as well just call him D Nap Star if he's gonna sit around and sleep all day. It's time to get into these critiques. Black Spade tattoo. Guys, I think you did a clean piece, but the thing that makes your composition fall short is not the layout, it's the contrast. From the jawbone to the can, very similar tones, those elements aren't visible and you lose the depth. You got the luck of the draw. You guys are the graffiti guys, and you this piece up. Artistic skin design. You have this foreground that is identifiable from across the room. Compositionally, it's put together really beautifully. Details in the fish are great. Line work, color, shading, everything looks top notch. Pins and needles. I really like the composition. This is a loose, freer, more open design. I think it's drawn very well, and I think it's tattooed equally as nice. Thank you. Classic trilogy tattoo. Doing the new school and doing your style plays into a little more freedom in the composition. The only thing is you have one specific thing as opposed to something with another object or a background to create more composition. Yeah, we see what you're saying. Unkindness art. The little details in the mask, the little seam up the center, really, really look nice. But you also got to remember today's composition. Is it the most dynamic composition in the room? Next team up is House of Monkey. Well, guys, I like the design, but I think that compositionally, you could have had an interesting ending. It just looks unfinished. Old Town Ink. It's a very clean tattoo. The outline and the color saturation in this thing are pretty spotless, but it's not a really dynamic composition. Allegory Arts. I like the flow of the ballerina tutu. That bright, solid patch of red behind it does play necessary for the composition to pull together. It's very simple and very deliberate. Think before you ink. These black halos, it doesn't do anything compositionally for your tattoo. It makes it just a very hard ending. It's a little bit stale. When the best person on your team is the only person who tattoos and it still comes out as a bad tattoo, that's not Ink Master material. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Artistic Skin Design. There was a scene, there was composition, there's foreground, background, stuff coming out of stuff, that's the extra mile. We need an advantage because we bombed last week. We can finally start playing the game to make sure that the people that we don't want in the house are not in the house. What? Oh, nice. Badass, bro. Welcome, guys. Each week, you've had to rely on your team to help you gain advantages. But for this Flash Challenge, you are on your own. Every decision is completely on your shoulders. This week, we are testing D. 
detail. Details are all the subtle nuances that make up an image. It's all those details that really pull it all together and really showcase what the image is. To make it through this competition, you must use the tools that empower you to compete at your highest level week after week. And nobody does that better than Lara Croft. That's dope, man. Today, your canvases are all strong women who welcome any adventure and push themselves to overcome obstacles. You must tattoo a permanent representation of the tools that empower them. Sick. To do these women justice, you must make sure that every tiny element is flawless. If your details aren't on point, your tattoo will be a muddy, unreadable mess. The object here is to make every detail HD for us. Go the extra mile to give them something that really works. Absolutely. an old world map, is that what you wanted? Any kind of a map at all. I'm a geospatial scientist. <laughs> this is my time to finally shine. Instead of just doing a skull with the map inside of it, we're doing a skull globe. I'm gonna show detail, but making sure I get every tiny little state and country in this map on this skull. Being in this industry, it makes you have to learn to speak up and stand up for yourself. I'm excited to show off. Three more hours. I know Josh likes to do big things and impressive. My canvas wanted Lady Justice rising out of the ashes. We changed the design to be more of a phoenix to represent coming out of a really dark place to where she's at now. You ready? This is gonna suck. She overcame so many hardships and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm being held down by every other contestant in here and I'm gonna fight past every one of them to the end. Maybe like the little lines in the tape or gauze or... It's a little too late, you know what I mean? Yeah, so no, he gets the last stuff. I can't That's go in there and, and grab the machine. He knows about it. You're gonna give me a little bit of blacker shading? Mm -hmm. Definitely shade off the bevel. Make sure you give me black or black O's, baby. Dark. Huh. Push everything else forward. I feel even more pressure today because of how important this tattoo is to my campus. She served a lot of time in the military. So you're in the Air Force, how long? 21 and a half. 21 and a half. Two boots means twice the amount of detail. All the detail that goes into one boot, I gotta turn around and do the same thing to the other one. I'm ready to show people what kind of threat I am, and I'm gonna fight to the end, and I'm gonna win this. One, that's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Like, I'm done with cancer, so it's like, this is stoke, for real. I'm glad I got to do it for you. All right, guys, it is now time to critique your work. Let's start with Jason. So what do you do? I'm a history professor, and so it really beautifully integrates all of the work that I'm doing, the research that I'm doing. Having that open book with the flowing pages gives me a sense of a cool breeze, and then you have really great details in these little areas. That looks great. One. I love the fact that you put the little tooth in the center of the flower, but I really wish that you would have defined where the wraps are going, because it kind of blends together and looks like a mummy a little bit. Of course it looks like a mummy. It's a body with wrappings. What's the difference? Amanda, I particularly like what you did with the bow. All the tiny little lines in the handle and in the feather work of the arrow, very delicate, and it's all it remains very feminine. You did a great job. Jeremy. A lot of really great detail in the small buildings. The tiny little nautical stars in there. It's very clear and very legible. Buddy, I think this is the best tattoo I've seen you do here. Your crispest, tightest, sharpest, cleanest piece that you've produced. Thank you. Rolly. This tattoo shows a great attention to detail. The detail in the laces, the consistency of the thickness of the laces all the way through each turn and bend was a detailed challenge. You hit it really strong. Fame. The shining moment of this tattoo is in the camera. So many small little circles in there and ovals, but they might be the worst leaves I've ever seen. If the flower's a traditional flower, then the leaf has to be traditional with the flower. Josh. 
I like the fact that the detail really lies in the face, really lies in the wings. The actual scale patterns are all right on the money. You're swinging for the fences. Man, I sweat right to that last second. That's a huge tattoo. Yeah, it was stupid. Frank. That top flower is busted. It's just three weird lines with red in between them. As far as hitting the detail and the impact wrench, you killed it, and then you busted it up with a pretty weak traditional flower. Deanna. The details in the skull and the map are really meticulously done. I love the little bit of texture you got just in the stippling effect to separate the continents from the rest of the skull. For me, this is your shining moment. I am so glad that we didn't have to work as a team today because I rocked it on my own as a strong lady. Thank you. I am the Laura Croft of this entire competition. Build it. The judges have decided. The winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Rolly. Oh, yeah, crazy. bro. It looks like he's gonna fade. Thank you so much, for real. Thank you, I appreciate it. You had to exercise a lot of detail repeatedly over and over and over. That really stood strong without getting muddy. Congratulations, Rolly.